and welcome back to my channel and I'm going to post this first on my Disney YouTube and just so you're aware I do have a second YouTube that I talk about makeup, skincare, hair care, anything in that kind of category and you can find that at Starlet Makeup Chick. I'll put a link down below and all the stuff that I'm going to talk about if I already have videos with like palettes with all the swatches and everything I'm going to post every single video for those down below so you can go ahead and view those and let's get started now I've been collecting my Disney makeup collection I guess for the past like seven eight years I didn't get really into makeup until like 10 years ago maybe I would just wear whatever the bare minimum and the first thing I'm going to talk about, this came out last year. This, I believe this, I got this at Ulta.com. This was the Disney Alice looking through the looking glass. Urban Decay comes out with different collections every spring. This year, Lorac is coming out with a Pirates of the Caribbean themed eyeshadow palette. If you're interested in that, it is... They do run 50 to 60 bucks. I think this is like $50. And I'll just show real quick. This is the pop-up right here. And it reads, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And it has these pull-up tabs. And when you pull it up, this pretty butterfly thing goes right there my drawer is falling out <laughs> and on the mirror it says we're all mad here and you can pull out the drawer completely it's not really good for travel because it's kind of like cheap cardboard but for use at the home and here are all the colors right here I really like the mix of the bold and the kind of warm tones I tend to go for more warm tones. I really like the Kingdom Paradox, Dormouse, Duchess, Reflection. I kind of like those kinds of colors right here. And like I said, I'll put a link down below with all the swatches to that. I don't think you can get this anymore besides eBay and that kind of thing, but this is a really pretty palette. And if you remember, right before the Cinderella movie came out, MAC came out with a Cinderella collection. And I did have one of the beauty powders, but it was way too sparkly for my age. So I ended up give, doing a giveaway for it. And I had one of the eye glosses. It was like this taupey color eye gloss. And it was basically like lip gloss that you put on your, it was in a pot, but you put it on your lids, but it creased immediately. And so I just, I don't want anything sticky on my lids. So I wouldn't recommend that, but I do still have two items from them. And I got this one. These actually sold out pretty quick. This was the Royal Ball lipstick in the Luster formula. And as you can see, they have a little logo from the movie. I'll do a quick swatch. And I do have a video from all the products. And I'll put that down below. And this is just a really pretty pink color. And the lip gloss is called Slick Glass Slipper. And same thing with the packaging. I like the gloss because it's not sticky or anything like that. And these paired together are very pretty, but it's a nice, pretty, shimmery gloss. And I do have a separate video, I think a year and a half, two years ago, e.l.f. came out with a Walgreens collection for Belle, Beauty and the Beast. you think they would have waited for the movie to come out, but I have this cream shadow and it's called Belle. And this is what the packaging looks like right here. I actually really love this. I use this all the time. As you can see, it's almost gone. It's this really bronzy brown color. And there's a swatch right there. It's really easy to use. I really like the e.l.f. cream shadows if you're looking for something cheaper. And this is the palette. It's called the e.l.f. An Enchant Enchanted Tale. An Enchanted Tale Eyeshadow Compact 
And these ultra silky and luxurious eyeshadows go on smoothly. Some of these are crap and then other ones are better than others. It just depends on the look that you're going for. I did do a giveaway a year and a half ago when these came out but these are the colors right here and I'll put a link down below to the swatches. You might still be able to find this on Amazon and eBay and that kind of thing. And in the past six months Sephora came out with a Minnie Mouse uh, collection. I really didn't care for any of the lipsticks. I look horrid in red lipstick and that kind of thing. So I was just interested in the blush and I got the Disney Mini from Sephora. It's this cute little packet. It's good quality and it's a Sephora on the front. It's a good quality compact. And you can see, uh, mine's chipped a little, but you can see the imprint of Minnie Mouse on the actual powder. And it's this real peach color. It's just a really pretty color. I know a lot of people gave it bad reviews, but I haven't had any issues with this. I've I've probably only worn it a handful of times because I have so much makeup. If you go to my other channel, you'll see. But yeah, I really liked this. I think every now and then I have seen it pop up on Sephora.com. It just depends what kind of back stock they have. And the last thing, this was when I went crazy over the MAC. The MAC Villains came out 2010, I remember, because it was right before I got married. And they had an awesome collection. MAC needs to come out with another Disney collection. And... I got, let's see, there's a lot of stuff here. And I wish I didn't put this in my drawer because it cracked and it kind of got a little scratchy, but it's the Evil Queen. And this is Strange Potion. This isn't a unique color. They have this color come out in different collections. It's a really pretty, like, peachy color. It's kind of a generic color, but I really like it. And I love the Evil Queen. She's probably, oh my god, it just broke off again. Holy shnikes, look. That just broke off. So don't store these in drawers. Keep them up. I guess I'll have to do that. And the lipstick is right here. It's called Toxic Tail. It's more of a bolder lipstick. And this is what it looks like right here. And that is a bold color. <laughs> it's just a really bright coral. And the rest are blushes, basically. And I have a few backups and that kind of thing. And let's see, the first one is, this is Oh So Fair, the beauty powder. And look at how pretty that compact is. And I do have a backup. This is what the actual original packaging looked like. I really like that they did the kind of artistry on all the different boxes. I probably have the other boxes from the other things I got somewhere laying around, but yeah. And there's the name of it on the side. And again. And this is just a barely kind of flushed kind of look for the cheeks. And let's see. And it's up here on my wrist, but. Let me do one more swatch. It's over by my thumb but I haven't worn this. I always forget. I have so much makeup, guys, and I forget what I have, so this inspires me to use my stuff more. And the next things, I got the, this is Bite of Apple. This is the packaging, but I un, I depotted it, and it's in one of my blush palettes, and I can't find it but it's a really bright coral, kind of apple -y. You know how Snow White has the apple cheeks? 
and as you can see I depotted it because it's just easier for me to have all my stuff out so I don't have individual stuff everywhere but I really love this one and the last one is this is for the Melissa Fit and this is Briar Rose Beauty Powder there she is and this is more of a fall blush it's kind of plummy and that's over by my pinky and these do blend really well And that is it for my collection. And like I said, I'll post all the links down below so you can take a look at those. And remember, if you really love makeup, remember to join my other makeup channel at Starlet Makeup Chick on YouTube. And if you have any questions or if you have any Disney makeup, please let me know or post pictures um, of what you have because I would be really interested in that. I love Disney makeup whenever anything comes out. Walgreens every now and then does have limited edition collections and uh, I know Wet n Wild had one recently or not recently but in the past couple years and you can find stuff from different countries on Amazon. I'm really tempted. There's like a Monsters Inc. mic palette that looks so pretty. It's all warm tones. I might just get it because it looks so pretty and it's gotten really good reviews. And I forget what country it's from, but it looks so pretty. But again, post down below your favorite Disney makeup. Thanks, and remember to subscribe. Bye.